everybody. I'm Rebecca. We're back. Yay. Welcome to my kitchen. And yes, I am in my real kitchen. And right now I am going to make homemade salsa. It is like a restaurant salsa. You control the heat. I don't like mine real hot, but I have everything I need sitting here. The first thing I'm going to do is I got some cilantro in there with tomatoes, Roma tomatoes, or Italian tomatoes, and I just cut the tops off. So I have my tomatoes in here with some cilantro. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these to where I don't need to get nothing left out. Okay. Okay. What I'm doing is I am blending everything. I am getting rid of the seeds. My pot was hot. I'm getting rid of the seeds and uh, the skins. And what I'm doing, I'm going to add tomatoes to it here in a little bit so you'll see where I get my chunkiness at. And that's all I need the blender for. And that was, those are gar gar garlic cloves? Those are garlic cloves I put four in. I'm going to add more. So, but that right there is all I need the blender for. I want that beginning of that base. And I use tomatoes, real tomatoes for that with a little bit of cilantro and those garlic. Now, I'm going to take diced tomatoes. You can get them petite. They're going to cook out. And this is where you're going to get your chunkiness, is two cans of these. There we go. And to get these started, I add a lot of onion. These are peppers, onions, a little bit of celery, and those are going to leave so they stay whole. So there's all your chunkiness in here, and this is the seasoning blend. It's onion, celery, red peppers, and green peppers, and parsley flakes. So that's in there. So now I'm going to throw some garlic in here. There's four more, so I used eight cloves of garlic. This is a white, <clears throat> this is a white onion, a sweet onion, and I always use sweet, and I'm just going to do this very fine. The cloves of garlic will melt into this, so I'm not worried about it. So that's going to go in there. Just a half of one. And then I'm going to use a half of a red onion. I don't know, I, and I'm not going to do this one real fine. I'm just going to do this one because I like the taste of a red onion. Now to this, these are sliced tamed jalapeno peppers. They're medium heat, and what I do, they're pickled, and I go in there, and this is where you're going to adjust your heat. I go in there and I look to get me at least a half a pepper. If you want a full pepper, look and put you in a full pepper. I like a half a pepper. I don't like my salsa real hot. And those are the best things. And then I'm gonna, that one didn't go very well. And I'm gonna put this 
make sure that pepper's in half at least. I will put that in there and get out all of that pepper and onion. And I'm not quite done with my chopper. So here is some cumin and I am only going to add one teaspoon of it. It just adds a little dimension of just a little dimension of um, another step of flavor. And I'll get that in there. Now as you can see this is all going to cook and melt down. It's wonderful. And then I got some I got some more cilantro. I'm going to put a little bit of that in my chopper. And then some nice parsley. I love parsley. And I'll go through that later and fix it. And We're going to put that in there. feel it just going around. And I really want to chop it good. And I might have to take some of this out and get down here to this. This is what I want. And I'm going to put that in there. And there's your beautiful green with your red. And we're going to mix that up. And of course that's going to cook too. Now I'm going to leave it on the stove and I'm going to allow it to cook about medium heat and it's going to cook for several hours. And when we come back, I'll come back here in a little bit and show you how it's cooking and how it's going down and we might have to adjust a few things and um, maybe add some other stuff to it. We'll see when I can taste it. Next thing, before we go, while it's cooking, a generous amount of salt and some pepper. And we'll just let that cook and we'll come back here in just a little bit and we'll check it in about an hour. So I'll see you then. Okay, we're gonna check in on, it's been about an hour and as you can see, it's gone down and it's really thick and I added some water to it um, and you can continue to add some water. If you don't like your salsa this chunky, you can also put some of it in a blender. Now using tomatoes, sometimes they're bitter, I tasted it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do three fingers. You don't need a whole lot, it's sugar. You don't need a whole lot. I did three fingers. I'll check it again in an hour. And I probably need to add a little more water to it. And it will continue to cook. Um, as I said, when this is done, if you think that's too chunky for you, you can always run it through. A blender I might take some of this green out depends on how it cooks down um, so this is a this been cooking about an hour and it's got to cook even farther and we'll come back in another hour and we'll look at it and I'll taste it and I'll use a chip that time it's got to get thicker um, and it's got to get more red. You're going to see that. You can see that it did deepen in color and that foam that was on the top of it is gone. So it is cooking properly and it's just got a little ways to go at least another hour. So we'll come back in another hour and check again. Okay, we're back. It's done. As you can see, it's really nicely, it's got a really nice red color to it. And I went 
If you have an immerse blender, which I don't have, you can put it in there. I had to use my blender, and what I did was I just went through like this and got some of the bigger chunks and put them in the blender and blended it. But I didn't do the whole thing, as you can see, because you, I like the chunkier kind. If you don't like the chunkier kind and you just want to blend it, Blend it all and make it smooth. I like it a little chunky like that. And I'm going to taste it now for some seasoning to make sure that it is um, seasoned correctly. Mm. Mm. That's really good. It's perfect. Now what I do is I let it completely cool. I have just a couple of jars because we go through it pretty quick. I do. I eat it all the time. Once it's cooled down, I will put it in jars and put it into the refrigerator. You can make a lot of this and freeze it. In freezer bags um, you can process it and can it you can do what you need to do with this the reason why I make it and I like it is because I can control the heat of it number one number two I know it's all fresh ingredients there's no preservatives there's nothing in there it's all completely fresh ingredients onions, tomatoes, parsley, um, so, uh, cilantro, um, it's, everything's fresh. It's cooked on my stove and I did it and I know what's in it. Fresh garlic, just all that stuff that's in it. All natural, no preservatives. So it makes it a lot better for me. And I can, as I said, control that heat. Um, if it sits and gets refrigerated, that's why I cut back a little bit. The last batch I made was kind of hot, so I cut back on the jalapeno peppers. If, because as it got colder, it got hotter. <laughs> I'm surprised. It tasted good now, but as I got it in the refrigerator, it got colder. As I took it out, it got hotter. So, um, I can control that kind of stuff, and that's why I make it. Um, and it just cost me pennies to make. So, just keep a couple jars that you can store it in or put it in plastic bags and freeze it. But I hope you enjoy it. And thank you for joining me in my kitchen. And I'll see you next time on Rebecca's Kitchen. Bye, everybody.